Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover SQL queries for tester. This is the day two session in which we will cover select query. So first query we are going to cover is to select all the data from a table. Here we are going to select all columns and all rows. The query is select star from table name. Here star means all columns with all rows. So here for this session, I'm going to use Oracle database. So I'm writing first query which is select star from my table name is employee semicolon. So I execute this query and here I got all the data from the table. The first query is select star from table name to so select all the data, all rows and all columns from the table. Second query which we are going to use is to select the data from few columns but all rows. For that we need to perform query like select column 1, column 2 from table name. Here we can write any number of columns separated by comma. Moving to the database, here I want to select select ID name from employee table. Execute this command and here we can see only the column ID and name is selected from the table. So we have covered two queries. First we have covered we pick all the data from a table. Now we are picking only few columns from a table. Next query which we are going to learn is with sorting. So we want to pick the data from the table with some sorting on the column. Means I want to pick the data from the table but my data display in the sorted order of their salary. So I'm moving to my database here. I'm writing the command select star from table name. It will pick all the data, but I want to display the data order by salary. So salary is my column and by default it will sort the data in ascending order. So now I execute this command and here we are getting the data in the sorted order of the salary. By default it's a ascending order but if I want to do descending order then we need to mention DESC at the end means I want to display my data in the sorted order of the salary but it should be descending order sorting. I'm executing this and here we can see we are getting the data in descending order of the sorting. Moving to the next command that is column alias. Column alias is like we are renaming the column for the presentation purpose. I'm moving to my query. I want to select the ID and name salary from employee table. So it will display the result of the three columns ID, name and salary. But in result on the place of the salary I want to display compensation. So that is column alias. We can change the name of the column just for the presentation purpose. So we can use as as a keyword and in double quotes I'm writing compensation. So here if I execute this so at the end in result we will get compensation as a column name. So ultimately we have changed the name of the column just for the presentation purpose. That is column alias.
Moving to the next query, till the time we have gone through the queries in which we have picked all the data from the table, we are just filtering by the column name. But now we can filter the data by some kind. We can use where keyword. With the help of the where keyword, we can filter some data. Like I want to display the results only for the person who have salary more than 1000 or more than 5000. So I'm moving to my database. Here I'm writing the query select star from my employee table where salary is my column name which should be greater than 5000. So now it will display the result having only the having only records which are having salary more than 5000. So here we can see only the records which are having salary more than 5000 are displayed. Moving to the next query, with while filtering the data, we can use AND and OR condition. Like I want to display the data where salary is greater than 1000 and less than 5000. So I'm moving to my query. Here, my salary should be more than 5000 and salary should be less than 10,000. I'm running this query and here we can see only three records are coming. We can use AND and OR. So as of now, I was using AND condition, I can use OR. In case of the AND, both the conditions must be true. Display the employees where salary is more than 5000 or their location is Noida. So I am giving the condition like either this must be true or this must be true. So we have seen like we are getting the records where salary is more than 5000 or my location is Noida. So here is the record where the salary is not more than 5000 but the location is Noida still we are getting these two records. In rest of the case, these five cases are for salary is more than 5000. So here we have seen like we can use OR or AND just to filter the data. Moving to the next query, here we can use BETWEEN. We can use between and not between. Between is used when we want to place some range. Like I want to display the salary which is uh, inside the range of 1000 and 10,000 including the boundary values. So I'm going to database. I'm writing a new query like select star from my employee table where salary between 3000 and 10,000. So here we can see like we are getting results including 3,000 as well. So boundary ranges are also covered and we are getting the results where the salary is between these two values. We can use not between as well. So I don't want to see the results where the salary is between 3,000 and 10,000. So executed this, the rest of the results are coming. Moving to the next query, here we are using IN. IN is mainly used when we want to compare with the multiple data. Or I'll say IN is mainly used when we want to compare with list of data. So I want to display the records where salary is 1000 or 3000 or 5000 or 8000. So I want to compare my data with the list of data so where salary IN I mentioned 1000, 3000, 5000 and 8000. So if my salary is either 1000 or 3000 or 5000 or 8000, it will result the value. So I'm running it. Here we are getting results with the 3000, 8000 and 1000. We can mention not in, it means my salary should not be 1000 or 3000 or 5000 
or 8000. So I'm executing this command and here I can see all the records other than these salaries are displayed. Next query which we are going to cover is the wildcard character search. So as of now we are comparing the values but now we can use wildcard searches. It is also called pattern matching. So I'm moving to the database. I want to display the records of the person where name is started by A. So I'm writing the query select star from employee where name I'm not comparing some values I'm just making the pattern so name so name like A and percentage percentage symbol means 0 to n number of characters so means the name should be started by A and after that we can have any of the character any number of the characters so I'm writing and we are getting only one record We can use not like. Not like means I should get all the records which are not starting by A. So here we can see all the records in which we are not getting A as a first character. One more query I want to write like I want to display the records in which in the name of records for the second character it should be a so i'm like i'm writing name like first character could be anything so i'm writing underscore underscore means exactly one character so first character could be anything second character is a and after this character we can have any number of characters so I'm writing this query and executing this, so we are getting result, two results we are getting same and couple in which second character is A. We can use like not like, so all the records which does not have the second character A will be displayed. So we have covered select queries. So here we can see that percentage means 0 to n characters, underscore means exactly one character. I take one more example in which I want to display all the records which are having exactly five character name. So I mentioned select star from employee where name like and five time underscore. Each underscore means one character. So I'm just giving five underscore means any of the five characters. But it must be exact five characters. So I execute this and we are getting three records. So underscore means exactly one character. Percentage means zero to n characters. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more about us, you can go to www.thetestingworld.com if you want any training support, you can call or WhatsApp us 8743-913121.